Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. Today I wanted to just have a chit chat with you on these pen rolls and or pen cases and just some of my thoughts. It's been about a year for both of these two pen cases here. These are in the dark brown color from two different shops. I purchased this one first back in April of 2020 and then I purchased this one in May of 2020. And so as I was looking back at the time, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a update on how they're, how they're patinaing and uh, aging with me. I still use both of them. Uh, pretty heavily now than initially. Um, I think that, bless you, I think that at the beginning I was using this one a lot more because this one came in first and then I started using this one and I was trying to figure out how I could use both but I just filled them up with pens and there you go, I was using both of them. There was a time where I didn't use them because I had this one and so I had stored pens in here and they were kind of just sitting off to the side. But now I still grab for these two more because they're easy, easier to port around wherever I go, whether it's to the couch, upstairs, to my, um, or to like a relative's house. That's, I'm usually taking these. This one, does have me wondering like why I don't use it as often and I think it's because I am using it mainly for storing like the pens that I don't use every day. Um, so I wanted to talk with you about this one in that um, I'm not gravitating towards it as much as I want to be and I think it's because I need to change what I have in here. So right now it's mainly my brush pens and just a couple of other pens. So I have the Sarasa clip in here. I have these brush pens which I have quite a lot like more of these but I haven't, I mean I use them on occasion. I don't use them as much as I used to. I mainly use them for brush lettering and not so much as like coloring, but they, they work for both and they come in a lot of different colors. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side and probably, probably add them to my other like brush pen holder. Um, some of like a random yellow Crayola uh, colored pencil. And then I have my Stabilo 0.88, set that to the side, and then just a Mars Lumograph pencil that I use for drawing. So I will hold on to the pencil, it's a great pencil. And my Crayola will just go probably back to my kid's room. Then I have the, these. So my Shikiori brush pens, which are the double-sided pens. I got these off of the Amazon Japan site because they are definitely more reasonably priced there, especially if you're gonna be ordering other things, which I did at the time, and so I love these colors. I have some of them, uh, some of the inks for my fountain pens in these colors, not all of them, some of them. So I do wanna keep these close by. I'm just not sure where, but I don't think I wanna keep them in here. And then some more of the Koi coloring brush pens. I have a Uniball Signal white gel pen that is running low. I would say that these th uh, gel pens, even though it shows I have a lot of ink, they don't write very well after a certain amount of time. So it's good to use them while you can, while they're fresh. Sorry, while they're fresh. A souffle uh, gel pen. 
And then I have the Mild Liners brush pens that work great. I would say I kind of wish that they would come out with a dual brush pen that has the large size tip and then a smaller size tip that matches um, this size. That would be awesome if they came out with something like that. And so now we are all empty. And this thing is oh, it's just, it feels really good. I do have uh, a couple of marks. I did buy this from the Facebook group, Superior Labor Marketplace on Facebook, and it was pre-loved and already had a patina to it. You can kind of see the change in color here because this is where the band kind of wraps around and protects what's underneath. But um, it came in like pristine condition, just darkened. Probably not as dark as it is now because I have been using it constantly. Um, it has been uh, having, it has had something stored in it. I've hardly ever kept it just empty and closed up. I will say this part is definitely showing its use and wear with the folded um, like edges here, but that's just because I really stuffed this thing. But I do love how it sticks out. I think that's really, it's like it feels good and it's like bumpy and adds more texture to the leather when it's kind of opened up like that. So anyway, what do I wanna do? I kinda of want to keep this on my desk more. I do have it like in a cart off to the side and I think that's probably also a reason why I don't grab it every day. So I actually wondering, does this fit? It, does it, does it, does it, does it? I'm probably doing too much. So I almost always have the Galen leather uh, pen, like flat holder, filled with pens of some sort, either their pocket pens or full size pens. And I love that, whoa, okay. I love that it has this felt on the back so it's not gonna scratch. And I was thinking, I thought, oh, well maybe I could fit this in here. It kind of does fit. Okay, let me take out pens. And you're gonna hear my child soon. But it does fit. That's cool. Um, I just don't think, I don't know, how could I use this? in here. I don't think it's going to fit with all the pens because it was just really tough to get it in here. But it does fit, I think probably after your leather has stretched a bit. Anyway, um, so I do want to put my fountain pens in here. I have quite a lot that are inked up and I want to try and use the ink and then move on to my next set. So let's see. The only thing I don't like is how my regular size pens are too big for to be able to clip on to the leather. Although I guess at the same time it, it should be a good thing because then I won't get those clip indentions on the leather too. So I want to put in all the pens that are inked up, so I am nearly forced to use them until the ink is gone. So these pens seem to fit really well around the leather because they're shorter. So I have a Platinum 3776, I have a Laban, uh, Midori, Franklin Kristoff. This was a Pelican M400. Uh, Custom 823, which is 
my newest beauty and then I have the Twisby 580. Now I know I have a few more. I have my, let's get these, my, sorry, I am just all over the place. My pocket pens in here. I don't have all of them with me at the moment. There's one I completely missed when I did my pre previous video with the Galen Leather Purple Pocket Pen. This one that I still need to get a clip on. But yeah, so I do have my Traveler's Company pen and then the Galen Leather Purple. Coveco Sport and then another Coveco Sport and I still have to get my last Coveco Sport which is the metal one. Um, I think that one's in my bag, my purse. And then I know I have some more pens that are inked up but if this is it, oh, my Perkyo. And then all my other pens that are inked up are in the new Galen leather case. So that is something I'm not going to mess with. I like them in there. And I thought I had some more, but I guess I'll have to look at them, find them after this video. Um, so yeah, this will kind of help me to use my pens and keep this on my desk. I really love it when I see videos of people journaling and they just open up their pen roll like this and they just pull from their pens. It's like the perfect setup. Why haven't I been doing that? Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with this for a while. Uh, back to these pens, or these pen cases, I am probably going to continue to use it for my gel pens, well, gel pens and then brush pens. And that's what I've been using this one for. So I have my Tombow brush pen, and then this is a Kuretake brush pen in here. I have my Muji Click gel pen, and then the I want to say original, but I don't know if it is original, but the popular one that has the regular push top in. And I have my Uniball Signo DX. These are like my top gel pens. And then this Uniball Signo uh, Ultra Micro. I have this one in the blue and the pink. It's a 0.38. I believe, yes, 0 0.38, yes. And it helps me write in the small grid of my Jiwoon Techo V6. And then I have been taking this one around, which I'm not really sure why. It writes really nice, the Zebra Sarasa, but it's too thick. Like the 0.5 is too thick for me right now. Same with this one, the multi pen. So I think I'm going to put these somewhere else for the moment, the time being. And then these actually have a particular place they need to go, storage place, and I'm gonna put those aside. So really, I do only use these. And I think, I think that's all I'm gonna put in here for now. So a little bit about these. Is that they have definitely softened. They still have that lovely sound, but they're definitely softer. Um, this one is more of like a hard shell case in my opinion. It, the leather is still flexible, but 
it's a little bit sturdier than this one. This one has a little bit of the pebbliness and this one's really smooth and more firm, uh, which is great for protecting whatever you want to protect. I think you can even put sunglasses in here um, or your reading glasses and uh, it does a great job at keeping its shape. This one, these are both like the same dark brown color and I can't really tell much of a patina in the dark brown color. All I can tell is that it's softer, it's squishier, it's, it, I mean the leather smells like leather but not as strong as when you first get it. Um, I think it's probably smelling more like me and my family or my area where I store it inside my office area but it's still definitely a lo lovely case I don't use it other than to store pens and I have stored pens on both sides of the case uh, but since I've decided to put all my fountain pens in here I'm just going to put this to the side and uh, wait until I have my next set of pens that I want to take around with me and I'm going to try to give this one more love than this one. And I have heard that you can fit your phone in here. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't realize that. So I could definitely use this in my bag if I wanted to, my purse but I didn't realize you can actually put a phone in there. And uh, yeah, so I it's kind of a random video, just chit-chatting. I know a lot of people like chit-chat videos and same with me, I love chit-chat videos. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the leather, I would highly suggest going to the Facebook group. There are always like a lot of people selling pre-loved superior labor leather goods and they, I mean, I've always had good luck with that uh, buying on Facebook. I, you know, I would definitely suggest looking there first before ordering from one of the shops if you want to get it at a pretty uh, decent price if you're not sure about the leather and you want to just try something new used first, definitely check Facebook group. All right, hope this video was informative and interesting and um, give you a chance to look at some sexy leather goods and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!